Hello, I'm a friendly alien. I just want to know more about the Earth. Can you tell me about ecology? Right now? Okay, thank you. History of Ecology Ecology is the study of organisms, relationship to their environment, and to other organisms as well. Generally, ecology is a new science gaining its prominence in the second half of 20th century due to widespread concern for the state of the environment. So you're telling me everything about ecology is new? Nope! Ecological thinking already manifested even in the 4th century BCE when Aristotle and his student Theophrastus had interest in studying plants and animals. Theophrastus had described several interrelationships that exist between living organisms and their environment. During the 18th century, two schools of thoughts dominated the growing scientific study of ecology. First is Arcadian ecology in which it advocates the harmonious coexistence of man and nature, whereas Imperial ecology believe in the establishment of man's dominance over nature through the exercise of reason and resource management. A shift in view came into the picture in the year 1758 when Carlos Linnaeus introduced the science of naming and classifying organisms, which is known as taxonomy. His famous book is Systema Naturae, which records all his discovered plants and animals. Through him, imperial ecology became the dominant view within the discipline. During the early 19th century, Britain, Spain, and Portugal launched exploratory expeditions to discover new natural resources and catalog them. Alexander von Hamdahl, a botanist, was a member of the said expedition. He exposed the existing relationships between observed plant species and climate. He pointed out that regions of the world with similar climates have vegetation that have similar forms and structure. This discipline of geographical distribution of plants is now known as geobotany. In 1859, a revolutionary idea was proposed by Charles Darwin, with his observations of different animals having morphological change based on their location, condition, and food source, he concluded that organisms evolved to adapt in their environment. These evolutionary changes are required to ensure survival by means of natural selection. This concept is also known as the survival of the fittest. In 1869, the word ecology was coined by Ernst Haeckel. It comes from the Greek word oikos, meaning household, and logos, meaning the study of. Therefore, it is the study of nature's household. Later in 1875, Edward West defined the concept of biosphere, from the Greek word bios, meaning life, and sphira, meaning sphere. That is all the system of the world covered with life. In 1895, Eugen Warming introduced the study of geographic distribution of living things, or biogeography. When Anton Lavoisier and Theodore de Saussure discovered nitrogen cycle, study of ecology was enhanced due to better understanding of nitrogen's role in nutrient uptake of living organisms. The coming of 20th century, revolutionary movements were launched to continue establishing ecology as a field of science. In 1920, the study of human ecology emerged. After 15 years, Arthur Tansley coined the term ecosystem as a community of organisms interacting with their environment. In 1950s, Eugene and Howard Odom published the first ecology textbook, and this became a university course. During the 1970, the Gaia hypothesis revealed by James Lovelock proposed that biosphere and the physical components of the Earth are closely integrated to form a complex interacting system that maintains homeostasis. Major event in 1971 amplified the importance of ecology when UNESCO introduced research program about man and biosphere in order to increase the awareness regarding our relationship with nature. In 1972, the United Nations held the first international conference on the human environment. This conference was the origin of the phrase, Think Globally, Act Locally. Then, during the Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro in 1992, the concept of biosphere was recognized by the major international organizations, and risks associated with reductions in biodiversity were publicly acknowledged. In 1997, the dangers the biosphere was facing were recognized from an international point of view, at the conference leading to the Kyoto Protocol. In particular, this conference highlighted the increasing dangers of the greenhouse effect leading to global changes in climate. In contemporary times, ecology is considered as a multidisciplinary science due to its in need of understanding of several scientific concepts to fully comprehend the interaction between organisms and their environment. It continues to be important due to rising ecological problems in need of solution and for nature conservation and resource management. Wow! Now I know!